What's going on, guys? Welcome to another Vintage Cube Draft here on YouTube, on Magic Online. And uh, we're going to take this Mock Sapphire, because that is a card. Frank, what do you put on your porridge? Um, <laughs> I, uh, I don't know. Uh, this is our second draft so far. Our first draft, we did a Planeswalker stipulation. Now I'm just going to draft good cards and see what happens. I'm going to take this Mox Safarino. I like Metamorph and uh, Frost Titan. Not a big Misha's Workshop fan because you have to really concentrate on artifacts. And I'm almost at a point where I don't think there's enough artifacts in the cube to concentrate on. So I think we're just taking Metamorph because it keeps us open. And I think it's uh, one of the stronger cards, especially because you can copy swords with this guy. The next GP I plan on going to is none that I can think of. I just, honestly, I, I'm... As a player, I'm not someone who enjoys going to large events. Um, and then you have to focus on like nine rounds of, of day one and then more rounds on the next day. And if you don't do well, then like you have to you, you have to pay all this money to fly there and get a hotel. And it's just like, it's kind of exhausting. And it's just not a part of magic that I personally enjoy. So as of now, I have no plans to go to any GPs. Um, I like this Emrakul to Promised End, and I also like Bitter Blossom. Heard you're my neighborhood meeting friends of mine. At Collect yeah, everyone at Collector Legion was super awesome, actually. Um, every person I played against was cool. Everyone, uh, like all the owners, were cool. Uh, were cool. And um, yeah, I added a bunch of those guys on Facebook, too, because they, they were just super awesome to meet and hang out with. And... Um, my buddy who works at Blizzard, Mike Larson, he actually invited me out there for BlizzCon, and uh, we ended up going to playing a standard event on, um, you know, the day the night before, which is awesome, and uh, I had a great time. And I would, if I if I ever make it out there to LA, I will definitely hit up the Collectors Legion again and hang out with you guys, because that was good times. I'm just gonna take the Emrakul. Yeah, if you're not sponsored to go to GPS, I agree with you. Like, I mean, I don't, I guess I don't agree with you, but like. Uh, that is kind of how I feel. They're just kind of rough. I mean, that's just my feeling personally, though. Like, it's not, you know, everyone else is different. Everyone has different goals. Like, my goals personally don't involve what I get out of a GP. Like, my goals don't involve uh, qualifying for the pro tour. My goals don't involve, involve getting pro points. My goals don't involve, you know, um, chaining events or hitting a certain pro player level because that's just not what I personally get out of Magic. So, but that's different for everyone, so... Oh, man. Uh, this pack is not great. We can actually take Duretti and draft, like, the Artifact deck, which makes me wish I took Battle Sphere. I'm going to take the Duretti here and try to go Blue-Red Artifacts. However, Duretti does let us put multiple card types into the graveyard. I don't like Traverse at all. I think Traverse is actually incredibly hard to turn on. Um, and it's actually, without, like, really working for it, it's very rare to be able to Traverse and get anything other than a basic land. I am going to take Through the Breach because Through the Breach is un unbelievable. And even if we're just attacking for 13 with an Emrakul, it's pretty good. But in a previous draft, I actually attacked for 15 with an Emrakul, and they also sacked six permanents, which was very good. Plus, there's nothing really else in this pack. And everything else is colorless. We're not even blue right now. So, yeah. Hmm. Is it just Searing Spear? If black wasn't available anymore, what solid color would you choose your shirts to be? Um, I just probably, I don't, I don't know. I don't like this question. I'm not comfortable with it. It might just be Smuggler's Compter. I don't mind Commander. I just don't. Might be Sweltering Suns, I guess. I don't know. This pack is not impressive. I don't think we're going to have enough creatures for Smuggler's Copter. I'll just take the Suns. It's just Lodestone Golem. The red is not is not looking great here. I agree balance with Artifact Mana is not terrible, but um, the problem is there's only like five cards that have Artifact Mana outside of like Signets. There's like Mana Vault, uh, Basalt Monolith, Grim Monolith, and like Mana, Mana Crypt. And they're all pretty hard to get. 
So, like, if you got, like, two artifact sources, I guess you're fine. You also pick up signets, but it's not that easy to amass a bunch of artifact mana. I still don't know what we're picking here. Ugh. Lodestone Golem, I guess. I don't know. None of those were great. Porcelain Legionnaire good in this, in this archetype? I don't know what's going on. You can also shelve these red cards, take Sphinx's Revelation. I think we're just taking Porcelain Legionnaire. Right, I said outside of Signets. Both of these seem good. I think Chandra is a little better. Man, this white is so open. It's unbelievable. Actually, we can just take the, the Danto Vanguard and be like white aggressive deck if there's... I'm just going to take a land tax. <laughs> Magus of the Moon and Wall of Omens. Maybe we're black. Maybe we're white, white, red control. Maybe we're just guy control. I think Wall is probably better than Magus of the Moon here. Knight of the White Orchid. Okay. Blade Splicer. Okay. I don't think we're going to have enough mountains for Koth, especially for two colors. Wow. All right. So the white deck is open, I guess. By the multicolored guy, Alex. Alex is awesome. Yeah, Alex Presnell is a real cool dude. Also one of the nicest guys I've ever met. And Olivia Voldaren. Any power? Any power. Any power at all. No. Ugin is great, though. I think it's just Ugin here. Let's put all these other cards in the deck and see what we're looking like here. Take out the Sweltering Suns because I don't really uh, think it's great in a deck that, where it kills all your creatures. We can also through the Breach Angel of Serenity and <laughs> just be like, whoops. Bounce all your guys, basically. I'm going to take the Ugin here. I think it's the strongest card in the pack. Lodestone Golem, you're probably not making the cut, unfortunately. I don't think this is a young Pyromancer deck. It's definitely not. I think it is a Declaration in Stone deck, because that card is just good. It's also a great answer against, like, Empty the Warrens or Bitter Blossom tokens, so it's pretty versatile. I like Walking Ballista, but meh. Uh, when preparing for a relaxing bath, what temperature in Celsius do I like it to be? That's a good question. Um, I think it's Flame Tongue Kavu here. I don't think we're a Duretti deck either. <laughs> this is this is getting awkward. Yeah, I'm just taking the Flame Tongue Kavu, I guess. We might not be red, in which case we can take Sower of Temptation. Or we could be green and take Marari's Wake for the Emrakul and the Ugin. This is interesting. It might be Mirari's Wake. I haven't actually taken the Mirari's Wake. I think Thalia is strong. I just don't know if she's strong in our deck where we have several spells. Really tempted to take Mirari's Wake. I like Flame Tongue Kavu a lot, though. We can also search for it with Recruiter. I'm going to take the Flame Tongue Kavu. I think a braid is good. I think a braid is probably better than Leon and a relic warder. I really like Tamio though. I also like Signet, but we're not green or blue at this point. This is actually just a colorless mox, and it helps us cast our metamorph without taking damage, so that's fine. I think we're just taking a braid. But then again, like we only have three red cards. Maybe we're not even red. I don't know. We're not really red, but we're also not really any other color yet either, so. And we, we I see the thing is I've done, we I don't know if blue-white seems open just because of Tamiyo. Oh, Gristlebrand? 
That's the thing we can do with the breach, but that's the only thing we can do with it, so. The thing is we drafted um, blue-white a lot of times. Like, I think I have like three videos on YouTube uh, so far of blue-white drafts. So I'm literally avoiding that because I don't want it to go, I don't want to just do another blue-white draft. I think it's actually Siege Gang Commander here. What if we go end of turn through the breach Gristlebrand and then we Phyrexian Metamorph Gristlebrand? Like during our turn. Our turn rolls around. We go Recruiter of the Guild to get Metamorph and then we Metamorph Gristlebrand. That's actually pretty cool. I think it's worth taking over Siege Gang Commander, especially because Siege Gang Commander might table. I do like a Baneslayer Angel. Probably better than a, an Imperial Recruiter and a Manic Vandal. Yeah, Baneslayer is pretty pretty powerful. There is both Sneak Attack and Show and Tell in this cube. Not a big Show and Tell fan, because it's usually you lose. I like Path to Exile. I also like Soulfire Grandmaster. I think Soulfire Grandmaster is actually very good uh, if you can get like Time Walker Ancestral Recall for obvious reasons. But also in the burn deck, giving your thing as lifelink is pretty good. I'm not sure if that's better than Path, though. It might just be Path here. I mean, I would be literally hoping for a time walk if we if we take Soulfire Grandmaster. Oh, sort of body and mind. Oh God, yes, please. I also like duplicate a lot, but sword is just really strong. This is one of the stronger swords. Um. Unfortunately, Duplicant is not coming back, but what are you going to do? I'll take Angel of Serenity here. Oh, uh, Linval is actually playable. What up, Edungarian? I would be surprised if Path Table, but I would be pleasantly surprised. Uh, we have a Braid Declaration. That's pretty much end through the Breach. Those are the, the triggers for... Yeah, we'll just take you. Wow, Mirari's Wake. Um, I'm going to take the Wake here, and if we're not, if we don't get any good red cards, we're just going green here because that card's insane. That being the case, eh, we'll just take Sphere. Spear. Spear? Spear? Yeah, Spear is fine. Siege Gang Commander. That's a good red card. Probably better than Spectral here. I like Boros Charm, especially with Soulfire Grandmaster. All right, I'm I'm satisfied with these red cards. And a Dreadbor, and Olivia Voldaren. We also have Sweltering Suns. Where if we have Soulfire Grandmaster and Sweltering Suns, like that's a lot of damage, and a lot of life being gained. Uh, three, 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 two, three. Gain twenty. Gideon Ally of Zendikar is very good. Sundering Titan's pretty okay. Sundering Titan also gives us a reason to put Doretti back in the deck. But I'm not thrilled about it because we don't really have many ways to discard anything. Like we have Chandra, I guess. Yeah, we have no way to splash Wake efficiently. Where I do like Siege Gang Commander because it's just good and you can get it with Recru Recruit of the Guild. Like, all the creatures that we can fetch with Recruit of the Guild are Knight, Soulfire, Porcelain Legionnaire, Metamorph, which is extremely useful, Blade Splicer, Flame Tongue, and Siege Gang. This is a lot of creatures to just search up on a whim. I'm going to take the Gideon, though. I think Gideon's one of the stronger Planeswalkers. Swords to Plowshares. That's where you want to be. I don't think it's Hellrider. I don't think we're a Hellrider deck. I don't think we're that aggressive. And Swords is one of the best removal spells in the format, so... That'll do, pig. Mana tie, eh? I wonder if we just splash Factor Fiction off Mox Sapphire. Hmm. It might just be Mana tie. Actually, Fiend Hunter is probably the pick here. I like strip mine. I don't really like strip mine that much. Like we're not gonna get a crucible. 
Was Crucible in one of our first two packs? Did I just miss it? I mean, I wasn't looking for it, so. I don't hate Revoker. We can also search for it with uh, Recruiter of the Guild as well. I mean, I almost like the removal better. I'm going to take Strip Mine because I think Fiend Hunter will probably come back. And maybe we can get to the... Uh, the Crucible of the Worlds. Um, Elspeth or Splinter Twin? What does Splinter Twin copy here? Splinter Twin on Blade Splicer is good. Splinter Twin on Siege Gang Commander is good. Splinter Twin on Wall of Omens is fine. Splinter Twin and us grabbing a Restoration Angel or a Zealous Conscripts is good. I think Splinter Twin is actually the pick here. Uh, Elspeth is a strong, stronger card in a vacuum, but... Splinter Twin has some pretty sweet interactions here. Oh my god. You over here. There we go. Yeah, I'm gonna take the I'm gonna take the Splinter Twin. Oh, Elspeth Sun's champion. That's one of my favorite planeswalkers, actually. Stoneforge Mystic is also very good, but we only have one sword, so I think we're just going with the six drop Elspeth, which is extremely strong yeah I'm gonna take this Elspeth ooh four mana shock oh there he is there it is zealous conscripts with splinter twin that is an infinite winsies I would love to take sword of fire and ice or Chandra but we're gonna take the conscripts and try to win wow council judgment and a hero blade hold and a plateau Hmm. Huh. When Vala can go to the sideboard, I don't think you're that great. I don't think we're through the Breach deck anymore. I also don't think we're an Emrakul deck anymore. Or ever, really. I like Boros Charm because it gives indestructible, so if there's a turn where we want to go off and we have enough mana to keep this up, it's pretty good. I like, I think I just want Plateau here. Like, we don't have any fixing lands. I hate to pass these two, but I'm going to take the Plateau. Oh, Oblivion Ring seems great here. I think it's better than Magma Jet. Yeah, this is just a... I, I feel bad about not taking the Council of Judgment, so taking the Oblivion Ring is probably just as good. We'll take out the Spear as well. You're not a Spear deck. I'm just going to take Dual Caster Mage. If they play, like, Ancestral or something, we can bring it in. What was the card we were hoping tabled? I guess we'll find out. So this is 23, actually. Um, eh, we can take the Hellrider. Eh, we'll take Timely, actually. Timely's a better sideboard card. And, mm, Fiend Hunter and Manatide. Manatide. Well, we didn't get Crucible back, so I don't think we're actually going to play the, the Strip Mine, unfortunately. I don't think mana tithe, because I have definitely... Oh, Mother of Runes? Sure. Wow, Stoneforge Mystic came back. Silverblade Paladin. All right, all these are... What? Hero of Bladehold came back? <sighs> it's pretty good. Stoneforge can go to the sideboard with only one sword, unfortunately. Silverblade Paladin, don't care about you. I don't care about Recruiter, because it, can, it can't get anything super relevant. So a lot of the times, like... It's just not better than just drawing the card you would you would rather have. Uh, Manatithe can come out. This is 24. Wow, this, is, this deck looks great. And we haven't done red-white yet, I don't think, so... Mom is right here. Mom is also good in case we go Zealous Conscript Splinter Twin. Like, we have a lot of targets for uh, Recruiter, but we don't have a lot of great targets for Recruiter, I think. Probably just Porcelain Legionnaire. I think that guy's pretty mediocre. But the number of things we can put Splinter Twin on is actually pretty high. Like, even if we don't uh, just Windmill Slam it on a Zealous Conscripts. Which I think is one of the strongest cards in the cube.
Yeah, hero uh Splinter Twin on any of these creatures is pretty good. Emerald costing eight or nine. Um, so what do we have? We have an enchantment, which we hope never goes to the graveyard. Also a land tax. So I don't think that's going to... We have an instant. We have no sorceries. Like zero sorceries. Uh, I, we have an artifact that if we copy something might go to the graveyard. Let's see. We have a planeswalker and a creature. So we have instant, creature, planeswalker, and creature. I don't think there, it's ever going to... Emerald's never going to cost less than, than nine. And this is, like, we have to actually draw our one artifact that's likely going to die. So I feel like, oh, we have one sorcery. Yeah, yeah, sure. Like, I feel like the most likely situation is we're going to have an instant, a, maybe a planeswalker. And this is, like, we only have one planeswalker that costs less than six and one creature. So I think Emrakul is most likely going to cost ten mana in this deck, and that's, I don't think that's good enough. I mean, double white, double white, double red, double red, double white, double white, double red. And we're playing, oh, we're already playing a colorless mox. I definitely don't want another colorless land. Uh, I think Soulfire Grimmaster is more than a bear with upside. Being able to rebuy things like Boros Charm or a Braid and also gain the life is just fine. Like, also just... Swords to Plowshare rebuy is pretty good. So I think this is actually pretty good. I don't think there's anything in the sideboard where I'm like, oh, I really wish we had this in the deck. I think this is actually pretty sick. Nine and five. Let's go eight, six, which is actually nine, seven. Yeah, I don't want seven, seven. Yeah, I mean... We have double red, double red, double red, but we also have land tax. So, oh, we actually, we get one more. We get one more slot. So I guess we're just going to add another red. Cool. Yeah, I'm okay with this. I like it. If we had another, I wish we had another equipment so we can actually play this. I wish we had sort of fire and ice. Yeah, we already went over the declaration and sent as a sorcery. It is our one sorcery in the deck, I believe. Let's do it to it. Yes. I'm going to keep this hand. We're halfway there. <laughs> Living on a prayer. All right. <coughs> We're halfway there. Oh, that's pretty good. Let's we'll play Plateau here in case we want to play a double red spell next turn. I don't know what that would be. The only double red spell we could even play is Splinter Twin. Oh, I see. We both have Moxes. Look at us. Bunch of Mox and loving guys. I could copy that. Or we just play that, I guess. That seems pretty strong. Definitely don't want to metamorph the Sapphire for a ramp yet. Living on a prayer. Splinter Twinning, this actually seems... It, is that any better than just attacking with it every turn? I like Rishkar. I like uh, Metamorph into Rishkar, and then we can actually put counters on both of them. Oh, that's pretty good. I like actually copying Venser now and bouncing the Rishkar. That's pretty good. A lot of things are pretty good. Then we can actually... Ooh, interesting. Do we just metamorph bounce their Rish car? And then we can put Splinter Twin on Rish on on the But 
But then they get to replay Rishkar and put counters on both these guys, which is kind of annoying. But, whatever. And then we just bounce Venser again. Ugh, that's not good. Well, interesting. Hmm. Intriguing. So you're holding up counter spell mana, clearly. Okay. Mystic Snakeru. Sure. You're welcome. I mean, you're clearly countering something, so you're not going to throw my Hero Blade Hold into your mana drain. One, two, three, four, five. We only have eight mana next turn. Hopefully you don't play Nicol Bolas, I guess. Off of your Mox Ruby. I guess you don't have double black. I mean, you have Rishkar as one of your cards. So land, Rishkar, three other things. That's pretty good. Oh, that would have been great metamorph target. <clears throat> I'm a fan of that. Can we get um Oh, give me a Oh, that's actually great. Um I think we exile in deck and stone here. Enjoy your clue. Because that's an obnoxious creature when we have Ugin and Splinter Twin in hand. So. Living on a prayer. Take my hand. Search for tomorrow. Okay. All right. So when you have Rishkar and a, and two other cards in hand, that's pretty good. One, two, three, four, five. Unfortunate. One, two, three, four. Go. Uh. Go ahead and. Uh, oh, this is gonna be savage. No, that's pretty savage. I can't Splinter Twin that, unfortunately. Um, <laughs> this is a good draw. Don't daze me, bro. Actually, we probably should have plussed, right? And then we block. Yeah, we should have plussed there. Because now they get to uh, kill our Elvish Mystic. Or not, not kill our Elspeth with our Elvish Mystic, rather. I think up is better, too. Yeah, I just got too excited about the Elspeth. But it does get uh, Frost Titan off the board, so it is what it is. And we get to attack with our hero Blade Hold, so. They did not miss the line. Hmm. Sure. We're getting close. All right, next turn we get to Ugin. That's it, I mean, like I like the this situation. This is the, the ideal situation because if we draw a land, we get to play Ugin. If we draw a spell, we get to cast it. So that's always the benefit of having the uh, the most expensive card in your deck in your hand and being one man away for it. Ugin, oh Eugene. Don't have a counter, please. Just 
just one time just one time yeah boy kill this guy attack with our hero we can be heroes this is our first time attacking with hero blade hold that's pretty good let's stack these you go first What's going on? Do you have a flash guy? Abrupt decay for coercive portal, sure. Well, now I feel better about negativing Ugin. But I don't think we're gonna do that. Ugin is a little too strong on the board right now. I guess you can just draw two. Let's see what you name. What is it, destroy all of the permanents? Destroy all non-land permanents, homage. Homage gets more votes, or the vote is tied. Draw a card. I guess we'll, we'll also hit Homage. I would have probably went for Carnage there, because I think me having an Ugin is better than you drawing an extra card. And maybe I misclick, right? Like, if I don't misclick, you're drawing a card anyway. If I do misclick, then you get to kill Hero of Bladehold and Ugin, which is probably better than these two. Yep, Ugin goes down to six. Oh god, what is this? What what in the oh. Um yeah, okay. Oh, that was a very good draw. Three, four, five. That is a ridiculously good draw. I think they're dead. <laughs> oh, Greegees. Yep, they're dead. And they're playing a base blue-green deck. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Exact seas. Without even activating Ugin, that's pretty good. All right. What's good against this blue-white deck? That big monster has Shroud, so I don't care about that. I don't think any of our cards are actually particularly great against them. We don't have any uh, specific artifact. We have a braid in the deck, which is great because they have Coercive Portal and uh, whatever Mox, I guess. <clears throat> Otherwise, don't really care about anything else. Mana Tithe could be decent, but... I mean, they didn't strike me as a... Uh... All right, I'll bring in the Mana Tithe. I can, I'll get behind that. I think our deck is great. Um, I'm gonna take out the Wall of Omens. It's just a dirtily, a dirtily creature. I will definitely keep this hand. Keep a Ruski. We can be heroes just for one day. <laughs> yeah, Hossmania. Good, 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 good call there. I think we just drafted the good cards and then we uh, we made it happen. I, yeah, I don't mind Stoneforge when your one equipment is protected from the deck, but I don't like uh, having two mums. Uh, I don't like having drawing sword and then drawing Stoneforge after that because it's pretty rough. Oof, immediately kill my mom. Okay, that's a good that's a good card. Can we go Baneslayer, copy Baneslayer? Why are you guys talking about me, Mom? Golgari Signet, you got it. Gimme that four power. Give me like Hero of Blade Hold or like a Gideon next turn so I can play something when I don't feel bad about waiting to play my metamorph that's pretty good we're going to definitely copy that bad boy
I too shall take two cards. We can be heroes. We can be heroes. Okay, what are you going to name? Let's see what you name. Homage? Okay, you got it. Oh, opponent on the break your mom's back line. Yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty bruffed. Bruffed? Rough? Wow. Three lands they hit. That's actually great, because if we draw any land here, we can just get to pay, play Beast Slayer Angel for free. And we don't have any lands that come to play tap, so literally any land will do it. Any land deck will, will play Bane Slayer Angel here. Any land. Oh, that's not... Meh. Oh, brutal. Why well, you like this magic together? Alright, well, our hand is good if we draw lands. Whenever they name homage first, it should just assume that I'm going to name homage as well because it doesn't matter. It's always going to be either draw or homage is going to win. So... Yeah, second round on Blade Splicer would have been... Or second round on Splinter Twin into Blade Slicer would have been pretty good. This is an interesting Rish car with one target. You gotta do what you gotta do sometimes. They can't have Mana Drain. Oh, uh, oh my gosh. They can't have Mana Drain. Could they have Mana Leak? Maybe. Land Tax. Not great here. And Land. All right. I guess we're just Bane Slayer Angeling and hope they don't have mana, mana leak. They did not. At a certain point, I think they're gonna they're gonna start choosing Carnage for uh, out of fear. Nope, still homage. All right. Copying coercive portal is pretty good when they mind twist you. Oh, homage. I think you're right. I think you're correct. It is it is pronounced homage. My bad. What did they cast last game that was huge? Inkwell Leviathan? One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven? They have seven mana? They can't be Inkwell then. What else did they cast that was huge? <laughs> I see. Well, that's awkward. Do they play a land first? That would be great if they did. They did play an island first. Ooh. Wonderful. Not terrible. And we get our Metamorph back. So they're only ahead of us by one. And we can actually draw... What if we draw Sapphire? That'd be great. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they played. They had to play Island first because they didn't have double blue without it, maybe? So we're going to go this guy and this guy, but not in any reasonable time frame, unfortunately. Oh, Crater Hoof in the Graveyard. That's intriguing. So what do we know? They have Rishkar and a bunch of lands and things. <laughs> mox. That's not a Mox. Well, on the right side, we only have to discard three cards. So, yeah, I got that going for us. Uh, uh, discard one land here. I 
I feel like it's just Splinter Twin. Against them, I think it's... I think Flame Tongue's fine against them. I mean, the problem with land tax is, like, they're going to play a land next turn, and then I don't want to miss a land drop, so then we play a land. And they presumably are always going to have a land. They're always going to be one land behind us. And I don't want to only have two lands, because then we can't play either of these. Yeah... Splinter Twin. And Splinter Twin's only, like, with everything else, it's just, hey, this is cool. I just gonna make copies of this, but with, uh. Hey, we are, we are far from casting Elspeth, but I think Elspeth is also more game winning than Splinter Twin. And we have things to do. <laughs> it's comical. We have things to do on three, four, five, and six. So we're not like at a, there's no point where we're going to be like, oh, we actually uh, are going to play Splinter Twin over something else. Thankfully, Zell's Conscripts is good on its own too, so. This Zell's Conscripts is like, what, why did you do that? This was my, this was my time to show, oh boy. Oh boy, that's actually great. We can, uh, oh, whew. Okay, that's a lot of things. A little sauntering Rafelos there. All right, so unfortunate there. Yeah, this is great. That was pretty nice. One, two, three. Now we can just cast Elspeth next turn. <laughs> hmm. <clears throat> Seems a okay. <laughs> that Ruffalo's actually generates no mana whatsoever. That's pretty nice. We do have a forest and a bayou in the graveyard, which would have helped, but... Yeah, the old the old double green goblin piker that is harder to cast. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. They do have 10 mana right now, so they can actually play Inkwell Leviathan. And we don't have any real way to deal with that. I guess we can play Baneslayer and race it. And they can just play Baneslayer. They can just play Vencer. Oh, you're going to bounce the Golem? Wow, I would have bounced the Gilded Lotus here. Hmm. I see. Keep that tapped, I guess. All right. Well. What? Wait, what? All right, yeah, we'll block here. We don't have the second red for Splinter Twin. We don't have a second red for anything, really. Hmm. That's rough. All right. Well. <clears throat> wow, Frost Titan was such a good draw there. I think Frost Titan is going to single-handedly win them this game. Otherwise, we would have been like, oh, Elspeth into tokens. Hmm. I guess we're just taking nine here. I don't feel like blocking is great, but I also, if we, if we don't block now, we don't get to block ever, which is also a thing to consider. Ah, oh, I remember they did have that. Wow, good lord. Land. Thank you. Flame Tongue Kavu killing. I guess killing you. So if they alpha with everyone, they tap like this down. We block here. We take two, three, four, five. We have to keep a blocker up for the Frost Titan, though. 
accidentally hit Carnage. I will I will agree with you. I will hit Carnage as well. <laughs> Just in case. I mean, we can't even cast Elspeth, so I don't know how you guys are how you guys think we're going to cast Elspeth. Everybody in the red zone, tap a blocker. Hmm. I see. Okay, okay. Well, we get to actually use Gilded Lotus now. One, two, if we Zealous Conscripts, one, two, three, four, five, untap, we get five more. Can we steal Frost Titan? Can we just win here? They have one card. And we get to keep up Boros Charm, which is pretty... Oh, yeah, Mana Drain. Oh, boy. Because of... Because of course you do. Literally had to be the... They had to be the last card they drew. That is unfortunate. God, do we have a better answer for Frost Titan? Yeah, of course, it was definitely worth it because, like, if if we don't do that, like, no matter what we play, is going to get countered. So, like, we had no way to win there if, if they have Mana Drain. So, I mean, we could bring in Linvala. Actually, could be good with all their mana guys and their Glenlinger Archmage. I'm going to bring in Linvala. Take out Siege Gang Commander. Like, it shuts off Glenlinger Archmage. It shuts off, uh... Well, everything. Everything, really. Everything. Just shuts off their whole deck. Their whole deck is done. Ooh, a search for tomorrow. Mox. Ah! accept that our curve is really good if we can hit any land I don't hate dual caster as just a way to counter a thing but they don't seem to have many spells manager rain seems like their only spell uh, the rest is like Venser, Riftwing, Cloudscape, Glenlinger, Archmage, things like that so yeah this is a lot of mana <laughs> it's all green though so even if they search for an island it's one, two, three, four, five. I guess if they search for island play any other land I think we actually Oblivion Ring this guy because it's really good. <sighs> Linvala does shut it off, but it gives them a turn where they're like two lands and then they they have six mana next turn. I think we have to get rid of this guy. Which sucks because both Linvala and Flame Tongue Kavu were able to deal with it really efficiently. But in the meantime, they get to play two lands and they get two extra lands from her fellows, so... I, I don't feel like them having six lands and playing Frost Titan and then tapping one of our lands and then us not being able to play either of these. So I think this is just the safer play. And they do get an island and they're going to play uh, Black Lotus. <laughs> oh, another island. So they would have had Frost Titan mana. Good to know. Mm-hmm. 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 play you <clears throat> now this is a situation where they can name carnage and I'll be like mm, nope wow they never named carnage I would have totally named carnage got my Rafalis back and killed three guys and maybe I misclick worst case scenario I don't and you just you do homage anyway it's weird Glenelander Archmage with no ability? Okay. I believe you. The glorious Diglett, what's going on? 
Oh, a Mox Ruber, Rubers. Frost Tights? Frosty Tights? What do you get here? Mox Sapphire. Okay, so they are playing the double Mox Upheaval deck. That's unfortunate. Vencer Bounce Linvala? Mm, Riffling Clouds Gate suspended. Okay. Seems good. What's up, Light Coast DJ? Things are okay. I like playing Gideon here, but I'd rather just Flame Tongue Kavu with this guy so they don't get it back and so we can deal five. They also have two cards in hand, but they do have stupid coercive portal, I guess. Meh. <clears throat> now it's homage, right? <laughs> or carnage? Always homage, all right. Homage, if you will. Yep, that's what we figured. One mana floating. So you get Rafellos back. Ugh, did you play land first? I don't know. That's really annoying. Nope, they did not. So they get four mana to play Course of Portal again, I imagine. That's a good turn. Yeah, upheaval is really obnoxious. I guess if you get two moxes, you're like, oh, well, I can just... Just mize these moxes. Mox mize. Four cards, huh? Get over land. Gideon. Blade splicer and probably. Play Carnage now. I dare. Please misclick. Misclick and click Carnage. <laughs> one time. One time. Dang it. Never. Yes. Absolutely yes. <laughs> Oh, you got a forest. I didn't realize. I forgot this is Savannah. Oh, well. I think we're just dead. Yeah, that's just game. I see no no reason to play this out next time they get to Riftwing Cloudskate and bounce our other land. Yeah, this is stupid. Yep, bounce my planes. So we take six, and then six, we get a 14... Where's the card that lets me change my vote or change one vote from uh, from the vote cards? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> just Frost Titan? No, oh, just Gilded Lotus, sure. Mind twist. Yep, and that was how we ended the game, sure. All right. Our deck seemed great, and then we got upheavaled every single match they won, so that's cool. Marky Mark's life, man. Sorry about that, buddy. Uh, this hand's pretty expensive. I'm going to ship it back. Having an Ugin and a Chandra in your opening hand is pretty brutal. I will keep this and put you on the bottom. On the draw, we're going to land tax here. No, we're not. Never mind. Never mind. Also, if you guys uh, are interested, it'd be uh, really appreciated if you guys want to follow or subscribe to the channel. Both of those things help me out a ton. And uh, you get access to the Discord channel, which is nice. That was really unfortunate that they had Thoughtseize when we had land tax. 
Makes you feel a little bit better about getting your getting your land tax thought seized on turn one when they when you guys when you guys start the sub train, but you know, that's life, I guess. Search a library for a card, put on the vampire tutor at sorcery speed. I had a good time. My opponent upheavaled. I had a good time. I feel like two one is the most is is the most uh, consistent finish we have. So dream of Californication. That's always a good draw. Oh, next time we get to play sword and protect like whatever whatever we put it on that's pretty good pro green yes please i think we're actually in good shape here but i'm definitely not thrilled oh what is this hunt master of the fells hunt master of uh master of the wild hunt that's what we're talking about that's yeah, not too super exciting make a beast untap two lands i mean An arbor elf okay It's a dark oak stain. I'm a fan of uh, I'm, a, I'm a fan of a cherry stain myself. But you know, that's just me. Oh, pro green sword. All you guys are green, and you got one card in hand. Oh, that's great news. We're having a good time. Having a good time. Unfortunately, we cannot mother of runes our sword. So that means they're going to play acidic slime here. You ready? Or frailies. It's one of those two because we have a sword. All right, Primeval Titan, Grave Titan. Okay, I mean we just give Soulfire Grandmaster Pro Black here, I guess. All right, this is pretty good. Because next time we get to Bane Slayer, which is pretty strong. Black. I mean, if you want to hit your face, even though you do have. Uh, a Garrick in play because the Garrick doesn't really do much against us right now. We do get to mill your entire life though. Sure. So Nizumi Shortfang, Draga Tree Speaker, him to Torok, Woodfall Primus, Abrupt Decay. All right. Abrupt Decay would be pretty good against our sword. Hopefully you don't have like uh an animate dead in your hand so you can get back this woodfall primus. I will keep my fingers crossed for that bad boy. Touch that dark oak finish for good luck. <laughs> oh, Lord. Lord, Lord. Well, they got some decisions. They only have two cards in hand, which is nice. We get to play Baneslayer next turn. Give this wolf pro black and go to town. Oh, getting in there with zombies. All right. I mean, it's, it's two extra damage for free, so... They can also Toxic Deluge for two now. Instead of four, if they have Deluge in hand. It doesn't really make a difference. I'd rather get a zombie off the board in case you have Deluge and, and not play around the Deluge than have you spend two less life and not have the Deluge. So that's, uh, that's how we're going to do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, seven mana. Brain Maggot. Hooray! Is this 20 cards or 10? 10, right? Yeah, that's stupid. I guess it's fine because we should still kill them before it's relevant. And then we can actually put this back on here, gain some more life. 
<clears throat> oh, well, actually, now we have to go with Garrick, so that's sad. Oh, I see. Kill Mother of Runes. That's annoying. Wow. So your, your two cards literally stole my, my, my Bane Slayer and killed my Mother of Runes, preventing me from doing anything that I wanted to do. Like, those are your two cards. If you didn't have this, we could still play Bane Slayer, which is huge, and then equip Bane Slayer, which probably wins us the game. If you didn't have this, we can still get through with a with a guy. So this is actually just an incredible series of 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 two draws. Hmm. And you basically just went on the spot because of Garrick's ultimate so yeah not not good what what that's not the line huh Each is each is other's greatest prey. Oh man, that's funny. You might be right. Wait, what? So we can mill you for ten. One, two, six. We we can block one of these, but I guess it's gonna have uh I guess we give pro black and attack your Garrick so it dies. Because otherwise we die, so. Yep, unfortunate because I'd rather just make a wolf and uh... I'd rather just make a wolf and what's the word I'm looking for? Mill 10, because then we mill 10 again next turn and then you're dead, but now you're in top deck creature mode, uh, or top deck card mode, so let's see what you what miraculous thing you've drawn this turn. You have five total mana. This is where you draw aesthetic slime. So your your draws were like Uh yep, mom is dead. That's what you should have done the last turn. And then killed me with Garrick Wildspeaker, but you did not. <laughs> okay. Well, that was... I can't be Natural Order... Oh, my, come on. Oh, my God. This is unreal, dude. <laughs> what a ridiculous, ridiculous series of events. That is actually unbelievable to me. Wow. 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 I guess Linvala, it shuts off things again. I don't care about anything else. Oh my god. That's ridiculous, dude. And our luck last game where our opponent just only won the games where he was able to cast, cast and draw upheaval. I feel like our deck is good, but these are not the... Uh, the draws we're looking for. I'm going to use the restroom real quick while we're waiting, and I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere.
right, let's play first. Oh, uh, this hand is not going to do it. Yeah, this hand's better. This hand's actually pretty good, considering... Uh, we'll keep. I'm gonna want I want another white, so we're gonna actually ship that bad boy. And we have second turn and third turn. We have two turns to the land, so. Pretty sure we're just gonna abrade this guy. Oh, Mr. Tasty with a 668 donation. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. Neighbor of the beast. <laughs> wow, that's a good 10. Discard's a card. Yeah, maybe discard. We're just going to go to swords and play Linvala next turn, and that should shut this guy off. Oh, Imperial Seal, and then we discard. Okay. Okay. Cool Rat Shaman. Better make me discard now. Oh, you caught it. Now we'll get rid of Mountain. And you could have had a Swords to Plowshares. I like. I want him to go land, kill this somehow, and then make us discard Swords. That's pretty bad, right? Strip mine. Okay. Well, now we're feeling silly. Come on. Actually, I don't have to use any of these things. I'm just going to win with these guys. Sure. Could have put them to seven here, and then eh, I guess we couldn't kill whatever they played next turn because we, if we killed this guy with the swords, they would have went to they would have stayed at eight, gained a life. So nothing we did would have been lethal next turn. They didn't even play. No, they played a forest. Oh, I think you're dead. Unless you kill our should have should have got rid of our red. But that doesn't advance your board, so I can see why you wouldn't. <laughs> Kodak Lumberjack, thank you so much for saying so, man. I actually make sure the thumbnail represents one of the more uh, valuable cards in the draft. <coughs> so if you guys haven't done so, please feel free to check out the drafts on YouTube. You can, uh, it's youtube.com slash Frank Lepore. And um, I've been posting one every day, so... Maybe it's new to you. Who knows? And uh, give me a like and a subscribe over on YouTube as well if you guys if you guys are interested. If not, that's fine. I understand. I get it. I get it. I almost kind of want Sweltering Suns in here. It kills all of our things, though, which is really unfortunate. It doesn't kill our three fours, but it kills everything else. I guess I think Manatide is probably better than Wall of Omens, though.
Oh, yes. I kept this on the back of this mana tithe. That's kind of funny. Oh, we do have Twin and Conscripts. That is fine, and I can't kill you right now, so. Strip mine your guy. Thoughtseize, really? You got it. That's really annoying. I'm trying to figure out how we could have drawn worse in this in these in these matches so far. Like not even drawn, but like had how our opponents drawn. I'm trying to figure out how our opponents could have drawn any better than this. Because this is very good. Like not only you do you don't you just don't take mana like mana tithe, you take like Lindvala obviously and uh you can just play around mana tithe for the rest of the game so thought thought sees is basically a two for one there which is just brutal and so they well, they can't i guess they could play garrick right they go one two no they can't they go land Upgrade, tap four, Garrick. Meh. So now they have access to four mana. So if they tried, we could mana time that. That'd be sweet. Maybe they forget. Maybe they forget. They did not forget. It's <clears throat> pretty okay. I do like them not having a uh, strip mine yet. That's pretty good. They have two cards in hand also, so that's pretty all right. Oh my God, I'm getting so, so busted. I guess we can actually Boros Charm the Garrick. And they have one card in hand. Maybe we're okay. I don't know. That's actually pretty good. Hey, flip them. <laughs> flip them, see? Next time we can hear a blade hold and still keep up. We'll just keep up mana tithe every turn. It's whatever. That's actually very good. Sure. Oh, man. Flame Tongue Kabu? Mountain. <clears throat> Hero of Bladehold. What up, Fifi Boo? I sure <laughs> why not oh I have a bloodstained mire don't you see maybe they forget I mean I'm not going to get a better chance to play mana tithe than right now and maybe they don't have another swamp in their deck I don't have anything else to do so oh my god natural order is such a beating dude I probably would have gotten rid no I guess you can't go to the yeah it's, it's, it's definitely Arbor Elf or Avacyn's Pilgrim rather Yep. So all their creatures get plus four, plus four. So five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Four, eight, twelve, sixteen. Twenty-six. Uh, so we are now in the O2 bracket. <clears throat> Not, yeah, of course you get greater health. Why wouldn't you? Yep. All right. Of course it gives trample. That was a fun game. <laughs> 
Okay, well, we've won, we're 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 two four, so at least we've won two games. Uh, when our opponents do not matter to ma manage to natural order us out with one card left in their hand both times and uh, upheaval us out, so. Yeah, we've seen what they get with they get they get crater of Behemoth every time, so that's how we lost game one. See if we can one two this bad boy. <clears throat> I don't even mind posting uh, the drafts where I have losing records because they're still just fun to watch the draft or like talk about picks or um, just see broken things happen. So this hand is terrible. Would you like five lands, a path, and a nugan? No, I, I I wouldn't. This hand is good. Yes, sir. First turn, Soulfire Grandmaster. Okay. Could play mom turn one, but it, if they have burn, they're just going to kill mom. Old soul fire. Bestie, thank you so much for saying so, man. Yeah, I've been making sure to post videos every day at 11 a.m. So if you guys uh, are interested, feel free to follow me on YouTube. Oh, see, they would have just killed our mom there, and I think that's worse, so. Let's just get mom. Hey, mom. Hey, that's my mom. What do they do? They put one on the bottom, one on the top. All right, so this mom is probably dead, too, because they're playing the red deck, so. We can bring in timely reinforcements though, and that's pretty cool. Hmm. Well, I'm not excited about copying a mock sapphire here, so we're just gonna pass. Miss your turn three land drop. I guess you have a mox though, so it's all the same. Well, that's not how that works. Oh, I see. A card I cannot deal with. This is how it goes. This is how we died. Can't do anything with that. All right. I guess we can actually pay Metamorph and copy the Mox now. <clears throat> Which lets us keep a Braid up. And lets us play Chandra next turn. I think we have to do that, actually. God, this is so not ideal. But being able to play Chandra next turn and kill their Chandra is really strong. Plus, we get to deal with any blockers they may have. So. Like, if they go Guy... What, Mountain? All right, cool. Like, if they go Guy, we can try to kill it and then play Chandra and kill their Chandra. Maybe? Little Zergo. Can't block creatures without two or greater, so that's not a threat to us. And that can't... Okay. Oh, that's annoying. Land one time. That is good. I guess we can actually wait a turn and then a braid and swords. Which is better for us because otherwise they just get to. I'm gonna swords you now. 
Otherwise, they just kill our Chandra, and that's not ideal. And Chandra going to six or staying at five um, is basically the same. Oof. All right, so the bright, on the bright side, we plus Chandra, <clears throat> kill their Chandra. Um, and then they only have four power on board, which is good. So I think we're okay here, but I don't think we're in great shape. <laughs> same thing if you really think about it. If you don't if you don't think about it. Yeah, basically the same card. Uh, attack with both. All right, so now Glorybringer can deal, well, four. Unless you go Hellrider, you can deal us four, five, six, seven, nine. <clears throat> pretty good, pretty good. Yep. Oh, that's pretty insane. Rift Bolt. Magma Jet? Magma Jet's probably just better there, yeah. If you could ignore my Chandra, I would appreciate it. Yep, they did not. What are you gonna get? One on top, one on top. Okay, well that's ter that's terrifying. Chandra dies. We can deck in stone one of these. Elspeth. Six mana Elspeth one time. Kill both your guys. Keep an Elspeth on board. No. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, boss. Enjoy your clue. And whatever two cards. Did you put both cards on top, I believe? Yeah, that's pretty brutal. Well, that's terrifying. Wasteland or Plateau. Yeah, that's fine. We still have six mana. Double white, double red. I'd love to say that, like, we shouldn't have copied, but then we wouldn't have been able to play Chandra. And, um... Would have been several turns before they actually had... It's not great. I almost wish I kept... I almost wish I killed this guy instead of the Glorybringer, and then we can steal the Glorybringer and, uh... Kill their Dark Dwellers and exert the Glorybringer. But right now we can only deal seven, and that doesn't really do much. But if we draw, the thing is, if we draw um, Splinter Twin, we win the game. We could steal their clue, but we can't actually crack it. So, and that doesn't do anything, and they'll just crack in response. So, Thunderbolt Hellkite, kill us. Mm, that's also good. Top deck splitter twin. Ready? Firebolt? That's a bold move, Cotton. Okay. Sword. All right. Let's bring in cards against the red deck, which I think we actually have quite a few of. We have timely reinforcements. Sweltering Sun's not great. Mm. I don't think Splinter Twin is ever going to get the job done here. Linvala doesn't seem great. Mana Tithe could be good here. I, I, th I think we can run the old 41 card special here. I mean, if they want to tap out on turn five to cast something like Glorybringer, uh, I'll be more than willing to mana tie that bad boy. Um, I don't. I'm not a big dual caster mage fan. I'm gonna keep this hand based on swords to, or based on land tax.
Oh, they went to five. That's pretty good. I mean, we only have um, if they if two of their cards or lands were in good shape. <laughs> Hmm. I don't think I want to fall behind and land. I think we just play this. I mean, I don't think we... What's What other X3s do we have besides the Blade Splicer token? So if we hit a land, we can Blade Splicer. If we don't, we can land tax. All right, so I guess we're land taxing. That is if they play, if they play a land, they might not. But then we'll just take two. I'm not gonna waste the swords on this guy, even though I don't like taking incremental damage. Oh, wonderful. Yep. So we go up to eight. We're gonna play two cards on our turn. Go down to six. We can hit one land without having to discard. Wow, they're just brutally denying us lands here, unfortunately. Blade Splicer is... Golem dead? Yep, Golem is dead. All right. Golem down. I think we're just blocking here. We have no way to... Uh, oh, we're not blocking. I just, JK, JK. Yeah, so now this guy is dealt six, but... That was actually a great draw. <laughs> Surprisingly good. I'll just block forever now. I don't care about that. I have one non-basic land. <clears throat> Can't really do anything anyway, so. Oh, look, I found the non-basic land. But it's actually fine because we have double red, double white now. And next turn, either we can sort of body and mind this I think we just play Bane Slayer. If we're if we're able to draw Bane Slayer, we just play Bane Slayer. I think they're actually playing behind us so that they don't get. Uh... If you want to kill a hero, that's actually fine. Anything that gets stuff out of your hand, uh, for Bane Slayer to be a little bit safer, I'm okay with. Yep, that's fine. Oh, we get it. We get it now. Mm, that's okay. We get to swords that guy. They're going to kill our Soulfire Grand Masty. Also, our Sword Supply Shares has uh, Life Link worth noting. Yep. I will block. No, no blocks. This guy has Menace, so I'm definitely going to kill it now. Yes, give me them lands. One, two, three. All right. Baneslayer City. And then we get to play Elspeth next turn, so I think we're okay. We are not okay. Well, we're less okay, I should say. <laughs> Duplicant. Unfortunate. We're going to play two cards. One, two, three, four, five, six. Might as well draw. Might as well draw two lands here, actually. Might as well have drawn three lands, I guess. I don't know. Um... I mean, would you equip sword to Wall of Omens? Because that seems weird. Oh, you mean this turn? Well, it doesn't matter now because Bane Slayer Angel is gone. I mean, if they go Glorybringer here, it's pretty rough. Elspeth goes to one. And 
Glorbringer. Hazaret. Okay. The blocks will be plentiful. Block you, block you, block you. This is actually good for us. We can... Uh, one, two, three, one, two. Hmm. Can't do everything we want to do yet. We can go Oblivion Ring and Sword. And I'll just get rid of Hazaret because Hazaret's a real scary card. Man, I wish Duplicant was like Fiend Hunter, <laughs> where like I can get my guy back if I get rid of the Duplicant. But then again, uh, there's so many times where I don't want that to be the case, so... I guess I'm glad that's not how that works, but. Yep, so you have, <clears throat> still block everything, which is nice. Well, can't block Glorybringer, so Elspeth goes to two. We can go, we can go Ugin and Negative five, get sort of O ring. They have one card, no exert. Okay, one, two. Can we zealous conscript steal glory bringer and exert? Is that is that good? I think we can do that and equip, which is pretty good. Oh, that'll do. <laughs> All right. So we're thinking four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Milled ten. Uh, would have killed this guy. Had infinite blockers for this guy. This guy would have been exerted. So I think that would have been good. That's pretty good. Took out Splinter Twin because I don't think we can actually. Uh, our guys aren't not going to survive. Maybe Dual Custom Rage is great in this matchup because they do have a lot of burn. My problem is like if they play a magma spray on like a Soulfire Grandmaster and we they don't have a they didn't have they seem to have a lot of small guys. I think we saw Zergo and Magus of the Moon. Which is not ideal. I think we just submit like this. I'm gonna keep this hand and try to get him. I'm a sucker for a, a turn one mana tithe. No, well, that's a guy. That is quite good. How about a mock sapphire here? I'm okay with that. Now our, our hand can go like this. So we're going to take an extra 2, 4, depending on what they play here. So at 14 life, I'll have a Gideon out. Nope. Not accurate. At 12 life, we'll have a Gideon out. Land Hellrider. <laughs> ah, that's pretty good. Firebolt our face, make a guy. Oh, Rift Bolt. That's actually very good. Soulfire Grandmaster Equip is pretty good. Swords to Plasher is also pretty okay. I'm just going to make a dude. Like, they're going to kill it, but it's whatever. They killed the dude, attack Gideon for... Like, we're. I think we're dead here again. We could have killed this guy and taken four, but then we do nothing else. I guess we don't do anything anyway. I don't know. I mean, it's like three in the morning. Mike actually was here earlier and then he left. Like, Mike has a home and a, and a job and a life. <laughs> I 
outside of just drafting every time I'm drafting. So, yep. Sweltering Suns would be nice here. I really don't want to give you a land, but I also don't want to take a million either, so. Yikes. How did I know you were going to do that? I probably should have swords this guy and then exiled the tokens. One, two, three, four, four. You have six mana left? Or you got six, six power on board? Lightning bolt our face and just kill us? <laughs> Yeah, this game is over. Man, 0-3 with this deck. That is brutal, dude. Well, now we're just getting rid of the Gorger because we don't want you to... Hellrider. Koth. <laughs> oh, boy. So we go to 2 here. Yeah, this game's over. All right. Baneslayer off the top? Watch it be Baneslayer. I guess we'll never know. All right. There's got to be a way, right? We can go to return to game, draw a card. Nothing. Okay. Well, good games. All right. And uh, on that note, thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. And be sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons, and I'll see you next time. Maybe we'll do a little better. <laughs>